guys, so you might as well, you probably have been made know I am going to Queenie, so yeah, I have been at the beach today, so yeah, I am just going to move this back to the floor just a tiny bit, okay, right, so I have been at the beach today, so I decided that I wasn't going to go ride my next one, so I'm going to show you why we're at the beach now, because it's interesting, so anyway, I just normally start with a pink moisturizer, so I'm going to make my own pink moisturizer in a minute. Ooh, sorry for that might be a bit too loud. I'm going to start off just using a quick primer. I'm using the Goth primer. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. So I'm hoping for a bit of tan today. Because I, I just feel on my cheeks that I've maybe got a bit of tan. So uh, it's been a nice day today. It's been good beach a couple of times this week. I've actually already recorded this, but I uploaded it, and YouTube kind of like cut some of the video out, so Friday for me did, because it's going anyway today. Anyway, for a change of moisturizer, I just use a bit of moisturizer, so I'm using the Simple, okay? And you want to use something with an SPF in it, so my SPF is in the foundation. So I'm using the Photo Ready, Revlon Photo Ready foundation in 005 Natural Beige. I'm using that, but it comes like that. So it looks like that. If you can see there, I just do that like that. Can you see it? Like that from half. And you can see it from that from the floor. So I'm going to just take a foundation brush and I'm going to blend these two together. Sorry, mix these two together. And I'm going to apply my base. Okay? So I like Pink as Moisturizer so much more because it is a less coverage and it doesn't really look so like makeup to me. It does have a bit of less coverage but I like that. It makes my face feel moisturised and it makes my face kind of feel more like a skin. Okay so I applied the primer to just my face and I got a kind of velvet layer on my face to make it go, to make it go on to feel good. Okay. So, for this look, I am going to use bronzer, which I don't really do all the time. I use blon br uh, bronzer sometimes washes my skin. It's not washes my skin. It's, um, doesn't go well with my eyes. It looks nice at first, but after a few hours it doesn't look alright. So, I... I've found a few bronzers that work for my skin and one of them is the Estee Lauder which is the one I'm going to be using today. So I'm just taking loads of this and just blending it right on my skin. I'm just take, putting it all over the face and it needs to be. Okay, so basically that's the longest thing that it takes with foundation. Okay, so you will want your bronzer. So I started off doing my bronzer now. And I'm just going to take my bronzer there. I'm just using the Estee Lauder one. You can use any bronzer if you're liking. I just decided to use an Estee Lauder one. And I'm contouring my skin here. Woo! Popping everything today. You're just going to the hollow, if you've got your brush in, like that, you go into the hollow part and you just get some about the top of your ear there. Because uh, you don't want to, and you want to blend kind of up and just take them down so you not have that beard effect. Okay, and I'm also bringing it up onto my temple. Like so. Like that. And then just to stuff this excess on the brush, I'm going to bring it down under my nose. My chin and and here because that is going to be shown on the beach. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of concealer. This is just the Revlon Photo Ready, and that's just going under my eyes. I'm basically just going to keep it really wet. So I'm also going to put a tiny bit on my brow bone and blend down in in my very 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 dewy eye. Okay, and next I'm just going to be using. 
Miss Esther Lauder, Deluxe Steel Color Palette. And I'm using two colours in this, which you can open up. And it's going to be this colour here, which is Tea Biscuit. And this colour here is Tea Biscuit. And this colour here, which is Tea. Okay, so I'm going to take this on an eyeshadow brush. And I'm putting the Tea Biscuit on first, which is this colour here. And putting that on a lid. And it's got a wee bit of a shimmer to it, isn't it, guys? So this is kind of a quick look. And next I'm taking the taupe, which is the same brush. And just blending that kind of into my pocket, just to create a bit of a defined look. Because we're trying to go quite natural here, guys. Like a bronze guy, like, which I like to call myself. The coincidence is, I actually called my last video bronze goddess which I had to take down because you did give me such a big brown face. I had to take that down, but it doesn't matter. But I'm sure you don't because it's going to be so good. But anyway, I'm going to take my other palette, which is the same one, but this is more dark colored. And I'm going to use this color mint with the eyeshadow brush. So it's just a black. And I'm using eyeshadow because it's easier to smudge. So I'm going to start off doing that. But I'm going to push the colour up, so just smudge it out a bit. Okay. Um, applying it, but just pushing it at the same time. Just smudge it out. Okay. We don't want really the eyeliner effect. You can do the hat line if you want, which I'm actually going to take off because I don't want a hat line. Right, so push it up. Okay, I just want to take that thing out because I don't want to take any wetting from it because I want it to be a natural kind of look. Right, so that kind of defines my last one. Okay, so next, if I can find it, I'm going to bring this one up as well for today. Anyway, I wanted to put a bit of eyeliner on, so I've got eyeliner here, but this isn't the one I used for mine. Um, I want to just put a bit of that eyeliner in my waterline, so just curl it down slightly. Just getting it down a bit. So it's not really noticeable, just a tiny bit. And then I want to use a waterproof mascara. So I'm using the MAC Factor High Definition one, because I got this in Waterproof, oh, Pure Rose as well, um, Waterproof one, and then another one, sorry, not the Waterproof one this morning. Because when you're on the beach, it's sometimes your air is a bit moisturised. Or else you want to go into the sea and swim a bit. So, yeah. And next, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder um, Natural Blush. Natural Shade Colour in number 6, Rose Desire. And it's a lovely colour. You can see. Sorry, I just kind of like blinded you there. And, yeah, I put some of Pure Stunning Geography back up. So, I'm just going to use the same brush that I used for, um, what do you call it, um, bronzer. And I'm just going to put it on the apples of the cheek and blend kind of up. Can you see a nice wee colour there? So that's just blended kind of in with my bronzer. And you can't really see on that side, but you can see on this side because my lamps are okay so I'm going to use a lip liner and I'm using just the front cover one it doesn't have a oh got it from Esther there it doesn't have a colour but it has a number it's the NDT 3AA so I'm just going to line my lips my lips in. Kind of 
Animals can be used at number seven, Tears and Tearsome, and number five, Trapped. And it's a lovely coral color. Um, sorry, my cat. You don't want it to lift out too well, you too much makeup, but I like it. Anyway, I kind of wanted a bit of shimmer on my hair today, so I'm using the um, number 7 Highlight Illuminating Powder. I don't want it in a liquid form because I find the powder is better for me. So anyway, this is it here, and you can also see that it's a pan and the part where it's been knocking it out. So I'm using the same brush as I did before, and I'm just applying that onto the cheek. Also onto the temple and around the forehead, down the nose, the chin, and the brow bone. Okay, <coughs> so basically that is the look done. If you wanted to, you could fill your eyebrows in, but I'm not going to because I didn't do that this morning. I'm going to eliminate that image today because I don't have waterproof um, brows stuff so anyway that's the look done i hope you guys enjoyed um this is quite an easy day in my day i could wear this for pretty much every day so summer has finally arrived in northern ireland so hope you guys have an amazing summer and i'll see you in the next video hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe rate comment you know the you know all that anyway see you guys later bye